Skull identification speed run. Ready, set, go. Pick up the tag. Species name is covered up. I think it's a fish. To check, we count the number of bones in the skull. Seems like we have one in the top, one on the bottom. Lots of teeth, but not enough to be a fish. Instead, let's look at that lower jaw. See how it's made out of one strong bone. That means that this is a mammal. Upper jaw time. Flip it forward. Oh, see how these eyes are pointed forward instead of off to the side. That's a trait of primates. To get a better sense of the size of this guy, let's re-articulate him. Oh, man. This thing is uh, pretty big. It's too big to be a monkey or a lemur. In fact, it's so big, I think it's a great ape. I'm guessing orangutan, chimpanzee, gorilla, or human. Let's flip it over to the side. Look right here. Orangutans have jaws that jut out much further than this, so it can't be one of those. And up here, gorillas have much more defined brows, so it's not one of those either. This leaves chimp or human to figure out between them. Let's look at this upper jaw. Flip it over. You see this hole, the foramen magnum? It's a little more towards the back instead of right in the middle. I'm guessing this is a pantroglodytes, aka chimpanzee. Let's freaking go!